The, the thing I've been working on for the past few years is, again, even though I'm a geriatrician, I've actually become a, um, a maker. Uh, I've spent a couple of years in a garage learning G-code and working with CNC machines. And uh, we found a way to take uh, sheet goods from a building supply store, machine them uh, in such a way that we can use Japanese joiner joinery techniques and make a compact house that can be assembled in one day. And what's cool about it is, in order to change housing, we have to have the tool to do that. And the actual housing industry is very, very antiquated. Um, it is nearly 100% analog, and we're digitalizing plans and pieces that come together, something like a Lego building block to make a house of 300 to 600 square feet that's complete and can go in a lot of locations. You can't put a regular American 2,700 square foot house. So we call this approach Minka, and it's actually the Japanese uh, word for a house for regular people. And uh, we've been working with architects in Denmark and experts like Rodney uh, to really think through how do we create a new housing option that is digitally native, that is compact, that's engineered for independence, and is affordable? Wow. That's what we're doing. And, and how far off is it? And oh, where are we in the? We're doing it. You're doing it. All yes. right. How is it going? I'm going to tell you a fun <laughs> story. I'll t t two, two fun things. Um, one thing is uh, I have been blessed in my life uh, with a daughter who lives with uh, profound developmental disabilities. Her name's Haley. She's tremendous. And uh, we actually built the first Minka. She's 23. We built the first Minka for Haley. Ah. So Haley is Minka's test pilot. Mm. And then as we were doing the work, my sister, who works in economic development, uh, her father-in-law died. And she said, we need a Minka. Mm. So we made another Minka for her. And now we're uh, working on projects. And I'll name one, uh, one fun project. We're working on the world's first blended student elder housing at the University of Southern Indiana. Hmm. We're using Minkas on campus, not to put the senior housing here and the student housing here, pew, together. And we call this magic. Multi-ability, multi-generational, inclusive co-living. So I think the era of the facility and the institution is coming to an end. I am a nursing home abolitionist, mm. <laughs> and so are you. 